AI for this, AI for that, AI is going to take jobs away, AI is going to do copyright infringement. There's a lot of chatter about AI and it can be scary and overwhelming. If you're new to the world of AI and you're slowly getting your feet wet, these are three easy ways you can start using AI to start saving a lot more time. Let's dive in. Let's say you are like me and you do not like reading that much. I mean, you like reading for fun, but not when there's like a dense, heavy topic PDFs. Maybe this is for research, maybe you're in school, or maybe you're just super curious and you love reading a lot of newsletters and like blog posts and stuff like that to keep yourself informed. We do want to spend more time in front of the computer and maybe there's a better way. I like reading this newsletter called MKD1 uh, for marketing, but it's very dense, it's very long, and it's complex information. Like reading this takes full concentration and like good one hour. So what I like doing is I like going to this tool called Notebook LM by Google. I'm gonna copy all the content from this newsletter. I'm gonna paste it here. Then I'm gonna notebook guide and I'm gonna see an option here called audio overview and then deep dive conversation. If you hit generate, it's gonna take a few minutes depending on how long the text or the information is. And now it's gonna turn my newsletter into a podcast, which is a discussion between two different hosts. Okay, so someone stumbles upon your amazing blog post. Clearly they're interested. Right, and then bam, you invite them to a webinar going even deeper. So instead of me spending the time reading that newsletter, which feels boring and dry because I'm just reading text on the screen, I can now just go on a walk and a hike, plug in my earphones and just listen to the conversation and just consume the same knowledge in a new format. So this saves me a lot of time. Speaking of, let's say you don't want to read a research paper or you don't know what are the key themes in this PDF or you just need a PDF for a reference. You can always check back quickly to see what sort of information is in the PDF and how it sort of relates to different topics. So we're gonna use this tool called Map This. Again, you can either copy paste the content into the notes section or just upload the PDF directly. Now pick from the dropdown, I like the flowchart. You can sort of experiment with different output types like the mind map or like the interactive mind map, but I like using flowchart. So just pick that and now it's gonna turn that PDF document into a flowchart. And it basically shows all the topics in that PDF and how it sort of relates to each other. So let's say, you know, you have a meeting and you want to refer to a document quickly. Again, you have this flow chart for a reference. You can quickly see what sort of topics are being talked about and how they relate to each other. You can try this with the meetings as well. Let's say you're using those like AI tools for like meeting notes taker. So you can take the whole meeting transcript, put it in this tool. And now you have like a visual flow chart of basically everything that was discussed in the meeting. So this tool sort of like takes your chunk of data and like puts a flow chart automatically. It's a super game changer for anyone who likes visualization, especially people in the research and academia who love flowcharts and stuff. Again, the simple way of using AI that can save you time. Moving on, I really like using this app called Cider, which is basically a Chrome extension. So when you sign up, it's gonna redirect you like to the Chrome plugin store. So you can just add it to your extensions. Like I have a whole bunch here. So now when you're spending time on YouTube and you're not sure if like this video is what you should be spending 20 minutes watching, you can quickly summarize the video with a single button. It's gonna summarize the video. And then if you hit the chat button and now you can even chat with the video, you can see like, okay, what's being talked about in this video? Like who is it for? What are the key takeaways? Literally, like if the summary is not good enough or you just wanna ask specific questions to the video, just chat with it. It's like. ChatGPT, except the brain of the video is now this YouTube video content. So the responses from that AI is gonna be very grounded to the content from the YouTube video. I hope I didn't overwhelm you. I just wanted to keep this video simple, but powerful enough so you can start seeing how AI can help you save time and be more productive and just learn better and faster. If this was indeed useful, you learned something new, give me a thumbs up. And for more AI tools, tutorials, and workflows, subscribe to the channel so you can start using AI to free up more time and use that time to do things you actually enjoy more. I'll see you in the next videos.